Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Tuesday, February 7th, 2023. And today I'm talking about a loss of taste and smell post-COVID infection. You know, with the earlier strains of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the original Wuhan strain, the Alpha, Beta, and the Delta variants, loss of taste and smell was a reliable symptom of COVID infection. Now, with the Omicron uh, variant and its subvariants, loss of taste and smell is becoming less common, although some people are still affected by this. Now, I'll say off the bat, there's good news for most people. Recovery from loss of taste and smell usually happens within a month or two for the majority of people. Now, we often associate taste and smell as the same process, but they're really different processes. Taste uh, relies mainly on taste receptors on the tongue, where smell is much more complicated and involves the nerves and a lot of other cellular processes that lead from the nose all the way up to the brain. Now, at a cellular level, it is believed that the virus infects the smell nerve support cells, leaving uh, inflammation and, and nutrient deprivation. These cells are called the sustenacular cells, and they are rich in the ACE2 receptors, which the virus needs to attach to and invade the cell. Now, researchers are learning more about how the virus causes the loss of smell, and they're developing a multitude of potential treatments to tackle this condition, including use of steroid treatments, use of platelets, use of plasma, and smell training. Now, you may think, what's the big deal about this? But if you've never experienced a loss of taste and smell, you may not understand it. I think most people don't acknowledge the importance of smell in their lives until they lose it. So again, um, there are these new treatments that are in development, uh, but this can be a serious issue for some people. You know, ongoing lack of taste and smell, it can lead to appetite suppression, nutritional deficits, weight loss. Some people get very depressed behind this as well. I think it's important to know that it's not in your head. And for family members and loved ones to know this is not in their head. You may want to see your primary care doc for this issue or ear, nose, and throat doctor. Uh, and some long COVID clinics may incorporate this in their uh, treatment plans also. You may also want to do some searching on your own for smell training. And uh, again, give it a little bit of time. You know, sometimes father and mother time are the best prescription out there. It, it does take time for our bodies to heal from this virus because it can cause so much inflammation. So that's my message today. I hope it helps. Please be careful, stay well, and take care.